So it would seem yet another hobby is about to fall. This one being Warhammer 40K. A very loved franchise. I know a lot of people that play this. I actually think it looks pretty cool. I love the idea of army building and buying these little figures and painting them and building up your forces. It, it's appealing. I, I like it. But I just never got into it for some reason. And to be honest... I'm not a Warhammer specialist. I really don't know much about this franchise, but a few people asked me to talk about this, and it looks to me like another studio, game, Games Works, Games Workshop, uh, deciding that they want to be a little bit more progressive and they want to add uh, enrichment through DEI to their franchise, and it's not going over very well. This specifically because of these soldiers known as custodes or custodians. Genetically engineered, very strong, superior humans. I think they're humans. I'm guessing they're humans or at least a human race. And from what I've seen, from what I've noticed looking into it, and I, I think I'm right here. This is why people are very upset historically since their inception. They've always been male. But now they have decided to retcon their lore so that female custodians exist. And it's not going over very well. People are very upset about it. And, you know, I, I really just don't get this. Like, couldn't you just create a different class of soldier for them? Like, isn't that something you could do? Oh, wait, they don't do that because those soldiers probably wouldn't sell as well. That's usually the thing. That's one of the reasons why they gender and race swap characters in other franchises, because if they create new ones, they're so bad at it that usually there would be no interest. So what do they do? Well, they got to take a character that you love and they've got to twist it so that they can get it to sell that way through an established fan base, when really all they do is piss off the existing fans. Especially when you start messing with lore. So how this all went down is people started to talk about it yesterday, saying, uh, well, they asked, this account here asked the official Warhammer account, why did you make female custoids? And they said, since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians which, of course, doesn't seem like it's true. And they've been getting BTFO'd about it and blocking people for when they ask them about it, like this right here, getting more reports of mass blocking by community managers for at Warhammer simply for questioning why they are changing the lore. Uh, they've deployed bots to try to shift the conversation and prop up some new Xbox PlayStation game that dropped. Uh, there are some Warhammer video games. And there's even a Warhammer show coming from Henry Cavill. I'm not sure when that's coming out, but uh, Henry Cavill has some creative control over that, so it will probably maybe be okay. We'll see. I don't want to bag on it too hard because, I mean, Fallout turned out to be really good. So uh, with Henry Cavill behind that, we'll see what happens. But uh, there's been bots running around, as always. Miss Master of the TDS doing a great job capturing some of this. It seems to me like they're out here doing massive damage control because people are pissed. People are mad, so they've got to deploy their bots. Community managers are out there calling people istophobes for not wanting this. And you know why they're doing that? Because people are going in and grabbing stuff like this. Oh, no, these are, so these are leaks from the new book that's coming out. That's not it. Uh, this is the shit that people are checking the creators with, showing that since 1987, uh, <laughs> they were showing that the, it was always men in these roles, roles right here. These are men. These men never leave Earth. And stuff. Grums has done a lot of coverage of this showing that 
uh, repeatedly in the Sith, the seventh and eighth edition of the official Custoids Codexes. They are repeatedly referred to as the Brotherhood of Demigods recruited from the Sons of Nobles. And I really don't get the big deal. If you've got these strong men that have been engineered to be stronger, why would you grab women who aren't as strong as men? There are other things they can do. And I guess there is kind of a uh, uh, custodian female class already called the Secret Sisters or something. I, I don't know a lot about them. I just watched a couple of videos on it, and that's what people were saying that they already exist. But uh, you've got this guy, Nick Davis, out here who apparently worked for Games Workshop or helped create some of the, the history they're out there saying that they always wanted to make female custodians and they were roadblocked by management. But now that the world is a little bit more progressive, they've got the okay to go ahead and make them. Uh, what's the end result of this going to be? Less sales for them. I mean, it's making uh, coverage ar around the internet. Daily Mail covered it. It's Wokehammer, Games Workshop engulfed in gender row with fans after it said Warhammer squadron, squadron that was previously thought of as men only has always had females, which isn't true. It's true now because they decided to retcon it. And if you don't know what retcon means, I should have explained it earlier, but that's basically meaning that means you go back and you change the history because of a new thing that you want to do. Happens all the time in comics and movies and stuff like that like there's always retcons going on if they're good and well done they'll be accepted but this is a little bit more shoehorned from what i've seen and it's not going over very well and it's pissing off the fan base i don't get especially for something like this these tabletop games i really don't get this attempt to try to go mainstream with them because this is is a niche thing. It is a niche thing for people to want to get together and battle their armies together and to sit down and paint these things and invest in it. But being niche isn't a bad thing because you can cultivate a very loyal audience that will usually be very faithful, stick with you, and invest in you. And when you go against them like this, it never really works out very well. And this is probably the first of many steps for this company to uh, fall under. I, I heard some people saying that the stock was hurting. I didn't see anything in that, but it is very clear to me that they are out there trying to damage control for this, and they don't like the response. And because the typical woke response when people come at you is to be hostile, uh, they're not handling it very well. Uh, one of them, this guy right here, uh, was attacking Grums earlier because he talked about this, calling him a, basically, in this tweet right here, an istophobe because of this. And that is the tried and true tactic of these kinds of companies, to attack you as an istophobe if you don't like their bullshit. So uh, I hope I uh, explain this okay. It's just what it seems like to me what's going on here. And it's just another hobby that is now under the boot of DEI. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.